what is up guys, it's Hi Breakwater 11 here, back at you with another Minecraft tutorial. Today, by very highly requested viewers, I am redoing a tutorial that I did back in 2019. Because the tutorial I did in 2019 was so bad, even I said I had to rebuild it. And that tutorial, of course, is the George Bush 4141 EMD SD70 Ace. This is the new version of it, and personally, I think it looks a lot better. I'm not sure about y'all, but I think it looks a way better. If you're going to have it in a consist, this is my, this is a little consist I've got here currently. This is Union Pacific 4141 in front of the classic Union Pacific 9096. Proof. So yeah. If you're gonna have it on a, if you're gonna have it leading like the George Bush funeral train, that's what it's gonna look like. So yeah, let's get straight into this tutorial. So first of all, what you're gonna need that I don't have is stone brick stairs. This yeah, this is the same. Alright. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna place two like this, and then one in the middle. I also highly suggest you do this on track. I'm just don't have any track in this world that is the right way to do this locomotive on a tutorial track currently. But I will have some. In the future, of course. So yeah, place two upside down stairs just like this. And then just line the top of it. Take another brick slab. One like that. Two tripwire hooks. And two stone buttons. Just like that. Alright. Now we're going to bring this back. Three blocks wide. And then just two blocks up on this. Alright, now we're going to take stone brick slabs, place one there and place one there. One there and one there. And then if you want, this is optional, you can put end rods in there to give it a better look. And this rain's getting really annoying. Sorry about this, guys. I swear this happens in all my tutorials, it just starts raining. It's annoying. Because, even though I have rain turned off, it still turns itself on. So yeah. Now we're gonna bring this back, I believe, 25 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Ooh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Alright. You bring it back 31 from the front of the... From those original three blocks. Alright. So yeah, just as exactly how you did it on the front. Two facing inwards, one in the middle, just like this. Two upside downs on either end. And then just line the top, just like this. Alrighty. And then the whole coupler. So the another brick slab, two tripwire hooks, stone buttons, and then the uh, three wide right here, just like this. I'm not sure how I did that. You might want to put your end rods in there before you put on the stairs. Might make it easier for you. I don't know. So yep. Yeah. Just like this. Alrighty. Now make this oops. Make this line three blocks wide. Just like this. Sorry for any background noise that y'all can hear. I can't really do anything about it. So yeah. Now we are gonna build the wheels. So I'm gonna place one black concrete. We're gonna place three black concrete. Uh, we are going to place three black concretes, each two blocks apart, just like this. And now I don't have it again, but we're going to need a lever, just like this. And now a lever, just like this, on each wheel, just like that. And then hoppers, turn that one back up. And then stone slabs, just like this. And on the rails, if I show you, 
These levers make the wheels look a bit bigger. I I like how it looks. If you want, if you don't want to add it, that's your choice. So yeah, just do that <clears throat> up here on the front again, and then on the back. Alrighty, just like this, just like this, just like this. Two. Alrighty. Now we're gonna do it on the back. So that, that, and that. That, that, that. Alrighty. Just like this. One there, one. Nope, not one there. One there. Alrighty. Okay, now that we've done that, you're going to skip a block here, place the row 3, then just bring it along until you're one block away from these, just like this. Hop on the other side, and then just fill all this in, just like this, and then upside down stairs on both sides. Then one little extra thing that I add, if you want to add it, is the bell down here, just like that. So yeah, oh yeah. Also grab smooth quartz slabs and just run it all the way along here. In fact, this ace is actually wrong. There is meant to be two gray blocks there, and then another three right here. So it looks like that. <clears throat> and then the other side stays just how it is. Alrighty. So, now let's build the handrails on both the back and the front. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. So what you're gonna do, place two white stained glass, two birch fence two birch fences, and two uh, iron rods or iron bars, should I say. And then the two item frames and just rotate the uh, black stained glass one over so that it looks like a uh, diamond. So yeah. Sorry about all the messages and all that. So yeah, just do that. Don't put the lights on the side. So yeah, it should just look like that. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go into the front. Grab... Alright, grab light blue concrete, light blue con... Alright, light blue concrete powder, light blue concrete, a TNT, the Prisma and Brick Stairs, Birch Fence Gate, Light Blue Carpet, and Black Stained Glass, Black Stained Glass Paint, and a White uh, Concrete. Yeah. Alright, so first what we're going to do is line this, and then we're going to take this back by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Do that on this side as well. We're going to focus on building the cab currently. Then take your light blue concrete, just start layering it up. And then skip these two blocks. These two blocks are going to be white concrete. Layer this up. Skip the middle block and place a block of TNT. That's not where that's meant to be. Place it right there. And then a line of three on top of it like that. And then just mirror the other side, so just like this. And then prismary and brick stairs, two of them, just like this. And now just bring this back by two. Alright. Now take your light blue concrete, cover up light blue concrete, light blue carpet. Cover up this, just like that. And then two black stained glass, 
four, should I say. Wind mirror, just like this. And then two back. These are glass panes, just like this. And then one blue. All right. Now we're gonna make row four, just like this. Do it on this side as well. Using the prismarine brick, of course. And then just fill this in. All right. So right here, bring this back by three. One, two, three, three. Using the light blue concrete powder. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. Alrighty. So get rid of the TNT and grab bedrock. We are gonna place three TNT, an upside down prismarine stair, and a light blue concrete powder. Yep. And right here, three blue and three bedrock. Upside down like that. And I think this is, yeah, this is the straight. So, and then just an upside down L right there with white concrete, just like that. And then right here, I'm gonna come out by just like that. So two, blo two blues, just like that. And then one blue at the top, of course, just like this. And then this is all gonna be white, just like this. All right. So you should look like that. Now the other side, it is going to look like this. Bring it down. So all this is gonna be blue. Just like that. And then just fill in this extra stuff with the white. All right, it should look like that. All right, so now we're gonna bring this light blue concrete back to this middle block right here. So, just like that. And then we are going to change it to light gray concrete. And we're just gonna bring this the rest of the way back. Wrap it around. And then go back to your light blue, just like that. I'm pretty sure, yeah, just make all this white. So yeah, we're just gonna build up the body right now before we add any extra details. So build this up by three. Just like this. All white concrete. All of this. All right. And all right, here. I'm gonna break these two blocks. Bedrock and bedrock, just like this. I believe it is the same on this side. Yep. Now we're gonna bring it back by three blocks. So one, two, three. Now we're gonna grab some quartz slab, bring this back by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, apparently it's only six, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's been a while since I've done this. See, so yeah, I just layer this up like this. My ear is doing some really weird thing right now. Sorry about this guys. And I can get a bridge fence gate, just place that there. Now go back to your white concrete. Place the row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just layer that across. And then bring it out by one on each side. and then just fill this extra little section in back here. Just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do, go to your glass and grab quartz stairs. We're just gonna layer this upside down right here. Layer this upside down. And that's that. Now, we are going to go out going to grab our black concrete and dark oak wooden dark oak button button break out these three blocks skip one and break out these three place these and then buttons on top 
Do the exact same thing on this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just like this. Alrighty. Okay, so now we're going to come and do this detail right here. So grab Lapis Lazuli, TNT, Piston, and Bedrock. I'm going to punch out these four blocks, two from the end. Just like this. Skip this block. Put a Piston right here. Then punch out these two. Put a TNT and a Lapis Lazuli, lapis lazuli on top. And I've done this wrong. This is actually meant to be one block, so just move all this over by one. Sorry, guys. This is what I mean by it's been a while since I've done one of these tutorials. So yeah, we're just going to do the exact same thing. Punch out these two. Punch out these three. Instead of a piston here, we're going to have a bedrock. And then this. And it is raining again. Cool. Great. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to do this, these details up here. So grab stone slab, iron trap door, bedrock, white carpet. So what we're going to do, punch out these two blocks right here. Then it's going to be trap door, stone slab, trap door, stone slab, trap door, stone slab. And then just everything else in white carpet. Yeah, just like this. Alright. Now, grab your white carpet again. Iron bar. Uh, iron trap door. Weighted pressure plate, or iron pressure plate. And stone buttons. Two stone buttons right here. Iron pressure plate. And the iron trap door. And I'm just going to cover this up all in white. And then, I'm not sure why, but 4141 has these two little antennas right here, so just go one behind this, these radiators, or bedrock, and place those there. Alrighty. So now we're going to do our little details, if we have time. So yeah, just two up like this. Get that there. You sign, you would put EP4141. Just like this. I'm not going to do it right now though. Just do that. Then we're going to make the ladder right here. So one, two, three, just like this. And just open all these up. And that's how you build a ladder right there. I have two little stone buttons right here and here. Then come to the back of the unit. Just line this whole thing right here. This is the back ladder. It's back here. Along with this, we also need quartz slab. Place two like this. Then place birch fence gate in the middle. Just like that. And we're also going to place a stone button right here. And other than the Hand railings, I think that's it. Just doing a little quick sweep. Make sure. Oh, yeah. Add the sign back here as well. You just put UP4141 on that as well. Just like this. And yeah, if y'all have never watched my tutorials, I don't do the hand railings in the video. I just show how to do it. So you're, you just put a glass pane on the end and then just iron bars after that with the light blue carpet and then a prismary stair right there. And then on this side it's just all like that. So yeah, that is how you build the Union Pacific 4141 George Bush 
Hope y'all have enjoyed. This is Hyper Cooter Loan signing out. See you later, guys. And goodbye.